Looking back. Wow. Um, I spent many years on a basketball court. I started playing basketball when I was 11 years old. Roselle Ellis can chart the path. <laughs> One that started on a basketball court at Seattle's Rainier Beach High and took him around the globe. He is a tireless workhorse. They call him Mr. Everything. Well, Roselle Ellis, look at him fly. All around the world, um, I've been to Saudi Arabia, been to the Philippines, Argentina, Brunei, Singapore. Whoa! Roselle Ellis coming out of nowhere. I'm on my third passport just to make it that simple. Ellis played professional basketball for nearly 20 years. What can this guy not do, Doc? Before he hung up his shoes and looked for another uniform. How's that exercise going? One that he said he had his eyes on. You're, you're doing good. Since growing up in South Seattle. When I was younger, uh, it was an officer-friendly program. Ellis joined the Seattle Police Department, sworn in as a rookie at age 42. The thing that I had to get used to was being back in school again, sitting in an academy with younger peers, um, twice as young as me. He's now taking on a different type of starring role. Really a shining example of you know what you can do and how you can get back to community. Seattle Police Chief Carmen Best is highlighting his story as part of the This Is My Neighborhood campaign. A new billboard went up on Rainier Avenue this week with Ellis standing tall. Part of a $1.2 million city initiative to recruit police officers even at a time when coronavirus has sidelined traditional efforts. We're using the good old-fashioned telephone to talk to folks, uh, as well as social media. So we don't want to take our foot off the gas. The city is also using $15,000 lateral move bonuses to close a staffing shortfall and fill out a roster. Yes, basketball is my first life, my first love. That includes one man who took the circuitous route back home. I really do appreciate putting this uniform on every morning because it's been a long time coming for me. In Seattle, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.